Okay, um, we did 50 events for October, the biggest extreme events we've ever done, and at the end of the month we'll give you a success rate. But so far, they've been, been it's, it's matched to the 85%. Just a specific example, the earlier part of this month, seven of the extreme weather events we predicted just for one little weather period came off. There were floods in India, there was Atlantic tropical storms, two of them formed, one of them, what were they called, Grace and Henry. <coughs> there was severe thunder tornado risk in, in America, there was a West Pacific typhoon, another form, which is a very, very big one, uh, and lasted a long time. There was uh, early snow deluges, there were East Pacific tropical storms. Uh, no, there was one not confirmed, that's all we got wrong. In Britain and Ireland, there were two, um, whatever, uh, loads of, loads of, loads of rain. Uh, I have to say, it's tremendously exciting looking on a past weather map, see like a typhoon will form in the South China Sea. And you turn on to weather underground, blank. Next day, blank. Next day, blank. Turn it on, typhoon in the South China Sea. You think, wow, isn't that amazing? There we are. <laughs> Tropical storm Mella, typhoon Mella, sorry, it's typhoons in the Pacific, um, hitting Japan. Floods in India. These are floods, not these little things we have in England that upset people. These are floods. Obviously, it's very important to know to predict things, and we can. You want to know what's going to happen next, okay? Uh, oh, this is telling us about the success rates and so on. This is the um, various things. But very significantly, last 2007, big storms in November, we predicted them both, including extremely stormy sea conditions and alarming build-up of swell, quote unquote. We did that from 11 months ahead, it said it would happen in November. Okay, it happened the 1st of December. The biggest ever sea swell of Ireland was recorded. Now, various uh, doubters said, you're wrong. <laughs> it was three days later. You're wrong. I said, what well, hey, If the Met Office is 15 minutes late from a day ahead, are they wrong? No, 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 they're not. But you're wrong if you're 1% wrong from 11 months ahead. I said, well, look, please, let's just have a level playing field. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's uh, just about the, the seasons. We've got all these last summers and winters correct, whereas standard majority and the United Nations have got them wrong. We can also now do end game forecast of tropical storms. Like are they going to turn right or left as they're heading towards land? Are they going to speed up or slow down? It's very <coughs> interesting work. Because when there's a red spot and the storm is moving, we can say what it's going to do if there's a red spot. We know if it's going to be a red spot. Okay, next one, which is a forecast. Now, this is happening now. I saw, uh, what's that, Thomas Schabernacker, TV two days ago, I said, oh, it's going to rain on Friday. Now he said, and then we'll get back. Now he said, no, no, you've got a lousy weekend ahead. Well, here we have it. A lousy weekend ahead for an end of October forecast. Now, this was done, I don't know, this was. This was done about a hundred days ago, I think. I can't remember, but whatever, anyway, long time ahead. Other things we're expecting in this period, we have, we're expecting something very interesting to happen in South America, Argentina, Buenos Aires, maybe deluges and floods. There may also be something in the Bay of Bengal, but that's a lower confidence, confidence again. The first bit is definitely happening, the second bit I haven't looked yet to see if there's a sign of it. All right, what next? Now this is our, our forecast for a North Sea storm. Very interesting, similar to what happened in 2007. We're expecting, and we're now more confident of this following some recent extra calculations of intensity of red spots. Between the 17th and 19th of November, we expect a very deep low to track north of Scotland. We're 95% sure, well certainly 85% sure this will happen. Okay? And it will be followed by a north wind. And that north wind will cause a north sea storm surge. And this will happen only within two days of a new moon. So it could happen that the big storm surge of sea level rise due to the north wind pumping 
water down into this mass of well. pumping water down into the south of the North Sea, uh, plus a Indian full tide. No, this is a England is a small place. Too small. Not really, the thin opus. Will result in floods. Now, last time in 2007, East Anglia came within four inches of flooding. That's official government figures. Could be more this time, in which case there will be a flood. I would say 50 50 is a flood. I, mean, I know that's not sound hitting bets, but. You see, there are uncertainties, namely, no storm might go further north, might go further south. The timing might work out that um, Britain's in luck. But it will certainly mean the long, it will certainly mean concern, and it will certainly mean the raising of the biggest flood barriers in, in Holland. So, watch for this one, very important forecast. Well, um, you see, uh up your forecast now. Well, I don't know. Is the BBC here? <laughs> Please come up with your forecast now. No. I'm not hiding anything. But I want to have thousands of BBC here. Okay. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> okay, well, you're uh, Mr. Black. Okay, are you going to put this up? Pardon? Yes. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Next thing is something you might have all been waiting for. Winter. It's not going to help with global warming. 